hey guys welcome back to my channel i am waka if you're new today we'll be coloring this wig using the watercolor method and i'm doing this for the first time so i hope this turns out so good i'm using boiling water and just this dish that i picked up <laughs> and i'll be using Levin here um this is from amazon it is um 613 12 inch bob and it is a less front wig it has a pretty small parting space which was um bothering me but i worked with it it's got four combs and adjustable straps and as you can see it came pre-plucked and you guys look at this hairline i was so amazed i didn't have to do any plucking i was so happy so this is a plus for me i'm using two bottles of adore one called violet gem and the other one called soft lavender i just mixed these two and just dipped my wig in the water you guys this this method is so easy you can't go wrong this was so easy and i was surprised i was surprised on how the wig turned out i thought it was gonna be a mess but guys this was so amazing so i put some coconut oil on the lace just so it doesn't um it doesn't die as well uh yeah i just wanted to protect it so i'm just gonna let you guys watch what i did and yeah so you're gonna see for yourself so i'll talk to you guys later So after I was done, I used this Shimmer Light Shampoo to um, rinse out the dye, the extra excess dye, but I think I shouldn't have used that one. I should have just used the regular um, shampoo, but it's okay. The wig is still okay, <laughs> so I guess that's alright. And please guys, wear gloves when you do this because as you can see my nails way white but they turn purple so please wear gloves now guys look at how this hairline looks i haven't touched this wig i haven't done any customization whatsoever as you can see i haven't bleached it i haven't put any foundation or whatever but look at how good the hairline is Thank you. 
I straightened the hair and tried to make like a bump or a bang in the front but I'm not an expert with this so <laughs> it was kind of crucial but it worked out pretty good Now I am just gonna use a hot comb to lay down the wig as flat as I want it to be. Next thing I did was add some foundation on the lace to make it look like my skin tone and cut the lace as well. So now I'll just put on the wig and try to lay it with got to be glued you guys. I'm using the black one, the clear one. That's the one I use all the time so please get that one if you wanna use got to be so yeah you guys should just see how I'm gonna do it. it's really really simple if you just have patience with it So now for the makeup, you can use any palettes you want you guys as so long as the colors you need are in there. I'm gonna use this purple uh, and pink shades just so it can match my wig, you know. Yeah, so I'm starting off with the purple and using it as a transition color. Then I will um, add some pink at the top and on the crease, I'm gonna add white at the beginning. like on the inner corner of the eyes and in the middle I'm gonna add a lighter pink and at the end a darker pink and a purple you know just to transition the whole color thing but you're gonna see how I'm gonna do it
I'm now going to prime my face with this Allegro Pro Prep Primer and I'm going to mix two foundations just because I couldn't get my skin right. It's summer you guys, uh, I'm getting dark but I'm using this Allegro Pro Matte and LA Colors Matte as well and I'm just going to apply that on my face and use a brush to blend it. For my highlight as well, I'm using two concealers, Pro Concealer, and oh, I forgot that it, that was that other one is called HD Concealer, and I'm just gonna mix that just to get a good shade of a highlight. I don't want it too bright. Again, I don't want it not bright enough because I want it highlighted. That's why it's called a highlighter. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> And yes, I'm playing with a lot of LA colors in this video. So I'm going to use this LA colors um, setting powder and I'm just going to set that highlight that I just put on. But I just, I think I picked them out at the um, beauty supply store. You guys can purchase them anywhere, you know. AliExpress is a good place though. Then I'm just gonna use one of my HB Cosmetics palette and use a brown shade to um, contour my face. I also use this purple one just because of the color theme going on here, you know. I also highlighted my face um, with one of the palettes that I have and I forgot the name of the palette but it's a really good palette I like it
so for the lip i'm using this brown liner i'm not gonna do a dramatic lip i just want to do like a lip gloss thing but with some kind of purple in it purple or pink i don't know what i'm gonna do but you guys are gonna see but it was a purple yeah it's a purple and then i'm just gonna put some lip gloss on To finish off the look, I'm gonna use this long wear um, setting spray from that I got from Walmart, and yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna deal with the hair again.